Team of the season has finally arrived in FIFA 22. And there are some incredible cards. We got a community team of the season that features players like Suarez, Zaha, Fred with five star skills, alongside an Eredivisie team of the season with some absolute ballers, including Graven Birch, Timber, and many more. So today's plan is simple. Let's make a full squad of team of the season players Let's go into some games and let's see how they do. We're going to take you through the full squad building. But before that, I want to know who would you like most out of any of the Team of the Season squads upcoming to get a card the most? For me, I'm obviously a Leicester fan. I would love to see a Dewsbury Hall, a Madison, something like that in the upcoming Team of the Seasons. And speaking of Leicester, we very recently played the first leg against Roma in the UEFA Conference League semi-final. And the manager of that team is Jose Mourinho, who is the face of today's sponsor. So, let's see it. I'm incredibly proud to say that today's video sponsor is the incredible Top 11. It's a free-to-play football management game that you can get on iOS, Android, and web browsers. In 31 languages, 240 million plus players. And you basically run the entire club. So sign players, you run the training, change your formations, and win trophies with your curated squad. Now there's been a massive update to Top 11, introducing 3D live matches, one of the biggest requests ever in the history of the game. And it is finally here, getting you closer to your squad than ever before. Everything you know and love about the game is now available in real time with 3D highlights. As you're playing against other managers around the world, 3D live matches allow you to see your tactics come to life with beautiful animation, player details, and it gives you even more information to bring your team to the top of the table. And this new immersive experience will make you feel like a true football manager. This new update comes with more tactical depth and improved engine for the game, more realism and control to all of your management, and to celebrate the release of 3D Live Matches, Top 11 are bringing out loads of exciting events and lots of giveaways planned for everyone that's playing. So the best time to start playing is right now. So if you'd like to try it out, then I have my very own installation link down in the description. So if you want to prove to your friends and family that you are the best football manager around, then make sure that you go and download Top 11 2022 with the link below. So let's get into the team building. And it would be rude not to start off with my first pack pool team of the season of FIFA 22. Roll the clip. Finally, we get a blue, Connor Cody, the English beast himself. What a monster. He's about 100K. I'd like to retract my previous statement. So the absolute machine that is Connor Cody is going to be our first player in this team. Six foot one, low high work rates. Great defensive stats, great physical stats, decent pace. He looks like he's going to be bossing that defense and he's going to do us very, very well in foot champs. He's our first player. Let's get him some chemistry. So we've had some absolutely sick English left backs from the Prem this year. Rico Henry is one of them. Absolute baller from the Silver Stars campaign. Then we had team of the near Luke Shaw, who was pretty solid for a while. But now there's a new man in town and he goes by the name of Tyreek Mitchell. This is his card. 88 rated left back, 91 pace, 90 defending on a fullback. Incredible stats. He's going to go straight into this team and get that strong link to Connor Cody. Now, I feel like we need a bit of a midfield powerhouse in front of them to really tie that side of the pitch down. So there's only one man for the job. And he goes by the name of John McGinn. Here he is, 90 rated, three star, four star, double high work rates. Pull it, gang. John McGinn is the absolute dream, especially that dribbling and physical. Oh, he looks like a tasty card and he's really cheap as well. So he is going to slot straight in. He is going to be a baller. Now we need a goalkeeper for our team. And unfortunately, there's only two to choose from. So we're going to go with the one that makes most sense for this squad. And that man is Hugo Lloris. The problem being... I have his foot captains that came out two weeks ago and EA decided to put him into another promo already. So 
Thank you very much for that one and making me spend coins. So we're going to have to drop 170,000 coins on the team of the season version, but he does look phenomenal. And that foot captain's car was amazing, so I'm hoping we're going to see big things from Hugo. Now this is where things get a little bit different, because we're going to go over to the right side of the team now. I'm going to start off with an absolutely banging right back card. My second team of the season that I packed, roll that clip as well. It's a blue! Masrawi, okay. He looks sick. And here he is, Masrawi is gonna slot in at right back. He looks so, so good. 91 pace, 93 dribbling, 88 defending. What a baller. You can probably see where this team is now going. So at right center back, we're gonna go for Pitbull's own Timber. Not that version though. Unfortunately, we do lose the five-star skills. We're going to have to go and buy another upgraded player. 269,000 coins already with a shadow card on him. Big Timber joins our squad and he looks incredible. 90 pace, 90 defending, 93 physical. How is anyone going to get past this man? And so in order to get him on full chemistry, there's only one man for the job. And he goes by the name of Graven Birch. Slight problem there, though. So we don't have the capacity. He's insanely expensive, so I've got a good alternative. We're going for Mr. Koku. One player of the month previously in his team of the season. Three star, five star. Less than 50,000 coins for a guy with these stats? Insanity. I'm sure he's going to definitely do the job. He's going to slot straight into that midfield at that right DM position. So now we need to start working towards the forward part of the pitch. First up, this centre mid position. A man that my beloved Leicester unfortunately knocked out of the UEFA Conference League a few weeks ago. None other than Ibrahim Sangare. Yet another monstrous card from the Eredivisie for less than 70k. Three star, four star, six foot three, medium high work rates. Look at those defensive stats, 99 strength. What more could you want from that kind of player? So he is going to slot straight into that midfield and he's going to be a baller. Now, in order for him to get full chemistry, we need a strong link up front. And luckily for us, EA have provided just that. So from one Ivorian to another, welcome Mr. Seb Allaire. Six foot three, high medium work rates, incredible shooting stats, great dribbling. What a monstrously strong card this one is. He's going to be our striker in this team. And so we've got quite a lot of physicality and a lot of height here. We need some tricky wingers to mix this team up a little bit. So let's start with the right hand side. We're going for none other than Anthony's team of the season card. If you know me, you know I love a five star skiller and he looks amazing. Nearly perfect pace and dribbling. Same with stamina. His shooting's great, his passing's great. He's gonna be a baller. And we managed to pick one up for 280,000 coins. Let's slot him in at right wing. This team is looking sick. And so our final position. He had a previous Winter Wildcards, but we're not interested in that one today. Because we've just got ourselves a team of the season, Wilfred Zaha for 385k. He's going to slot right in there. And oh my goodness, this blue team looks phenomenal. We're going to take this team into foot champs for a couple of games and see how it performs. Let me know if you've used any team of the seasons. And if so, who are your favorites so far? Put it in the comment section down below. Without further ado, let's play some games. What a save by Lloris. Wow. Go. Zaha. He moved his keeper, but it doesn't matter. Wilfred. You love to see it. Oh, Wilfred. Absolutely slapped him. Ale. He's not great, but he can score a header. Nice goal. Well done. Yes. Come on, Zaha. Come on, Sebastian. Oh. Oh, Wilfred. That was absolutely filth. Oh, Anthony, that is the goal of the day. So, 
Oh, Sebastian Ale! He's finally done something. And with that, let's get into the player summaries. Lloris was actually unreal. He made some fantastic saves. Highly, highly recommend him. Masrawi was out of position a lot. Timber was an absolute brick wall. Connor Cody, you get what you pay for. Tyrick Mitchell, not bad. Again, decent value for money cards, but not going to blow your socks off. Koku is fantastic. Unbelievably good value. Big John McGinn was actually very, very good. Uh, again, great value for money. A lot of these cards, he was very solid. Sangare has to be played as a defensive mid. He's a bit too bulky and clunky to play further forward, but in that destroyer role in DM, fantastic. When the gameplay doesn't feel painfully delayed, Anthony is incredible. His dribbling is so smooth. Sebastian Eller is a target man. He's clunky. He turns like a bus. And then the most expensive man in the team, Wilfred Zaha. Solid. Very, very good card. In good gameplay, this guy is going to feel phenomenal. Rapid, incredible dribbling, strong, and has a good shot on him as well. So let me know if you've used any Team of the Seasons. Let me know your thoughts on them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this one, thumb it up and subscribe. See you guys next time. Goodbye.